r slash ask credit. What are some unethical life hacks? NSFW. As a man. Go into Victoria's Secret and try on panties right at the display. Guaranteed they kick you out while you're still wearing a pair that you can now gift to someone. I'm not sure if I'm that committed. Always look like you belong somewhere and you can get away with most things. Walk purposefully keep your head up and say good morning slash afternoon to people. Another great thing to do is learn to look busy. People will always leave you be if you look busy. Tried to do this in New York City so we didn't look like tourists. First guy we saw walking out of the subway station. Welcome to New York. Have a great time here. No clue how he knew we weren't wearing any logo clothing or anything. Looking too purposeful. Real Nas are jaded. Sometimes it's easier to say sorry than to ask permission. Welcome to corporate America. Why spend hundreds of millions staying in compliance when you can just pay a couple million dollar fine when you actually get caught? Is it cheaper to let 8 people die and to pay off the class action lawsuit or to recall our product? When I go to baseball games, I buy the cheapest ticket slash tickets possible. In the outfield nosebleeds, bleaches etc. An hour or so before I leave for the game. I will get on Ticketmaster and find a seat that I want to sit in. Usually behind the dugout. I write down the section, row and seat number. Usually a couple of different seats for backup and sit in the empty seat when I get to the ballpark. Using the act like you belong trick. I will usually ask the usher where so and so section is before they can ask to see my ticket and they let me write through. I also have a screenshot of my seat of choice on my phone in case they want to see something. A lot people have digital tickets on the phone so it's not unusual. This technique is a lot easier when the team you want to see stinks. I do this a lot at hockey games too. I do that too, but you gotta make sure no one bought the tickets later on, or it's going to be super awkward when you're in someone else's seats and you have to awkwardly walk off haha. Some years back, me and a few friends were going to a baseball game. While we were tailgating, a heavy rainstorm rolled in causing a delay to be announced. We continued to drink in the truck. An hour or so later the rain stopped, so we went inside. We had decent tickets on the lower level first baseline, but towards the top of the section. Since the stadium was empty, we decided to sit in the first row right behind the dugout. After the first inning a guy showed up with a few kids with tickets for the seats we were in. So we moved up a couple rows. After the next inning, someone else showed up with some friends with tickets for those seats. We moved back a couple more rows. Upon seeing us move a second time, the first guy went to the usher and complained that he didn't think we belonged there. The usher looked at us, then proceeded to tell the man that he wasn't allowed to bring his own snacks and made the man literally take candy out of his kid's hands and walk it to the trash can on the concourse. The usher did not. However, say a single word to us. Thanks cool guy usher. Wherever you are. Way to give back to the little guy. The dedicated fans who waited out the rain delay and were cheering our team on. And even more right on for punishing Mr. Fink and teaching his kids a valuable lesson to mind their own business too. Sometimes if you lie about yourself to girls, they'll let you ex with them. Has to be the right lies though. Like, I'm sensitive. And I'm definitely interested in a relationship. Not lies like. I've never been caught wanking in a public park. Or I'm not currently being monitored by authorities for previously wanking in a public park. No. I just like to wear the Fitbit on my ankle. It's not a monitoring device. On a side note. I wank 2 miles according to my Fitbit. It's illegal to punch a 10 year old. It's probably not illegal to pay another 10 year old to punch the 10 year old. Edit okay I get it. It probably is illegal. But is it legal to pay a 10 year old to keep his mouth shut? While 10 year old isn't responsible in most countries. Paying to get someone beaten is. But who are the cops gonna believe? Some 10 year old that just punched another 10 year old? Or an adult? A lot of these posts are less unethical life hacks and more criminal misdemeanors. I worry about that distinction. Getting caught. That's the distinction. At the movie theater. Use the self-serve machines. Buy a kid's ticket. It's like $4 cheaper and they don't ever check. 
They are not paid enough to care. Source, I wasn't paid enough to care. OMG when my buddies and I worked at the theater in college we were the worst employees ever. We let all of our friends in. We let everyone from our dorm in. I'm pretty sure that nobody who lived in our dorm in 2002, 2003 ever paid for a movie. We'd let in all the people who worked in the mall food court, and they'd steal food from their workplaces, and give it to us in return. We would get hit housed on our dinner break at the Red Robin across the mall parking lot. We'd order one order of fries to split between like 5 dudes, bottomless fries. Right? Then we'd slam like 4, 20 ounces each, and finish it off with a shot of rumplements, because it made your breath smell like toothpaste. Sometimes we'd get a set started. And then just go to the bar on the clock. One time we were joking about it, while at the bar and the bartender was like, are you guys getting drunk on the clock? And we were like ducky air. Yeah. And he was like what does your boss think about that? And I said why, don't you ask him, he's right there he was getting drunk with us. We used to bring gallon jugs of Carlo Rossi wine, we call them bum jugs and pour it into cups from the concession, stand and stand there drinking, while we took tickets. One of our guys did coke in the projection booth once, and when asked why, pointed out it was his roommate's birthday, his roommate didn't even work with us. There were two gay dudes who were dating, and they ducked behind the screen all the time. We used to smoke pot on the roof. God I could go on and on. I would say that we were lawless, but we had one single rule do not disrespect old man Stano. Dude had been in the business for 50 years, and was a closeted gay man. He tolerated our shenanigans because he liked having college boys around to look at. We tolerated his occasional slightly creepy ogling because he'd let us show up an hour late, runk, and still give us a full paycheck. That was simultaneously the best and worst job I ever had. <laughs> Want to get that mole looked at but don't have health insurance? Shoot a homeless guy. You'll get free healthcare while you're in prison. Does he have to be homeless? Not sure how his status factors in here. Could he be middle class instead? Easy target out in public, so you'll be arrested quickly. <laughs> Call in sick a few hours early. Then come in anyway, and say you took some Pectobismol. You'll look good with the boss. Unless they schedule someone else to cover you then they'll be annoyed at the cost. I think this is meant more for office jobs, where no one would cover you. Not shift work. I save my showers and poops for work time, so I'm being paid for it. My boss makes a dollar, and I make a dime. That's why I only hit while on company time. The beater isn't quite right with that phrasing. The boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I hit on company time. It's hard to find a cheap parking in my city, so I sometime park at the hospital and tell them I'm a patient slash visitor to get discounted rate. Good luck doing this in the UK. Hospital car parks are regularly the most expensive. It. Thievery. Overt thievery. Slightly more subtle thievery. And a pinch of murder. This is a recipe for delicious cheese cake. Yes. Unethical cheese cake life hacks. Date someone who's less attractive than you. They'll bend over backwards not to lose you. The real question here is if they will bend over forwards as well. Though. Instructions unclear. I'm getting pegged. Pirate everything that can possibly be pirated. Would you download a free car? Yes. Yes. I would. No. I'd download 999. 999. 999 free cars. When using Coinsta. Select the gift card payout. And unplug the Ethernet cable in the back of the machine. You'll get a cash payout without having the surcharge taken out. Bring plenty of knockout gas for when the manager and security guard come over to ask why you are trying to get behind the coinsta machine. That's why you have a clipboard. <laughs> Complain at a Polo Ralph Lauren store. The managers are trained to give out $100 gift cards. Does the complaint have to be relevant? Or will they give me $100 for complaining about people not using their turn signals? That's a really good question because if not, my mother is about to put them out of business. As long as you're not a regular abuser, you can usually get free food at any fast food restaurant by calling or pulling up and saying they forgot a burger or fry near order. Just go to multiple restaurants to get a full meal minus cost of gas. Sauce, 
dumb poor college kids at one point. A friend and I called this the trick. One night. When we were poor college students starving and high. Poor BC we spent all our money on weed. We did a restaurant tour. We hit up every single fast food place. It was a feast. And amazing for a starving 19 year old. Also. If you pay bills. And buy food before buying drugs. You can live. Do you find that laws keep getting in the way of your business profits? Hire lobbyists to change those laws in your favor. Or just buy the politicians outright. Or just become president. Apparently. But but make America great again drain the swamp build the wall. On a serious note. Why people think Trump will help us is crazy. I've seen people here on Reddit saying we took our country back. Yeah and gave it to someone who is probably going to maximize his company and other companies profits thanks to you. I still have hope that I will be completely wrong and Trump will actually help Americans, but I can't really see that happening the way he does things right now. In a fight you know you're going to lose? Get naked. No one wants to fight a naked guy. This is a life hack I've heard and in turn passed on to others. Do with it as you will. Reddit. I wouldn't call it unethical though. Need money? Set up a GoFundMe or something. Claim you have terminal cancer and ask for donations for the treatment you can't afford. I really hate GoFundMe right now. I have a neighbor who is a drug dealer and she got beat up super bad and is in the hospital. Her daughter set up a page and they have been getting mad money. Like, where is your drug money to pay for this? I know two people who are trying to use it to fund their unrealistic life goals. One is trying to afford a study abroad ballet program in Russia and the other is trying to afford a yoga instructor certification. I suppose being a yoga instructor is not such a pie in the sky thing. But still. Everyone has their own bills and can't afford nice things for themselves. Including education. And you're hitting up your friends and family for this? I hate my gym. But it's the only one in my area. So I steal their paper towels. I haven't bought them in years. I used to take towels from my gym. I'm going to hell. If anyone is going to hell it is LA Fitness. Buying up all the smaller local gyms. And then closing the location. Work. Want to leave your desk for an extended period? Have a decoy wallet. No one would leave their wallet on their desk. So anyone who is looking for you will assume you are nearby. I skipped half days at the office this way. Went home and napped. My boondoggle of the Beijing Olympics. I came into work and made sure a few people saw me. I opened my laptop and spread a few papers around in my work area. I then walked back to the hotel. Took a 2.5 hours. Drive to the Great Wall. Spend 2.5 hours there and 2.5 hour trip back. I took a shower. Put my work clothes back on. Walked back into work and found my supervisor and said. Well. That's about all I'm going to get done today. He said. Okay. See you tomorrow. If you want to steal from a mall or a supermarket have someone run out the building while you're walking out of it at the same time. And if the alarm goes off 9 tenths times the security guard will chase the person running. If the item is concealed just act confused. They are not going to strip search you. And they can't detain you without opening the company up to expensive lawsuits. You should really say what country you're in. In the UK this does not fly. If you're gay. Date someone who is the same size as you. Doubled your closet. Not gay. But I'm seriously considering moving in with my girlfriend of 5 months. Just to get my hands on one of her guitars. Which happens to be my all time dream guitar. Do it. I heard an urban legend that goes like this. Guy goes to dental school on student loans. Graduates and applies for a boatload of credit cards. Uses the cards to pay off the loans. His debt is now in multiple pieces at an unsustainable interest rate. He applies and qualifies for bankruptcy. He now has a black mark on his credit report for 7 years. Instead of decades worth of loan payments. Even if that worked. It would definitely meet the definition of bankruptcy fraud. Yes. America. Where you can declare bankruptcy for living a lavish lifestyle you can't afford. But not for trying to get an education. Guy I work with tends to get his way and get ahead 99% of the time by immediately being as openly aggressive as possible in any discussion or disagreement. Most people don't expect it. 
are thrown completely off balance and just do whatever they can to get away from the situation, as soon as possible. He balances this by being a total kiss ass to the people in charge. But, yeah. He gets his own way most of the time, but everyone he works with wouldn't piss on him, if he was on fire. I work at a small individually owned business, and every once in a while someone tries that. And it doesn't work, because this isn't ducking Warmut. I actually enjoy arguing back. Love it. I'm a small business owner. Somewhat jaded and probably don't care as much, since I've been running the biz for so long, and I'm financially secure. I have stopped giving any ducks when dealing with asshole customers. The customer is always right. Wrong. Duck you. Some people. You can just tell they must treat everyone like it. I dish it right back, and do it sure is satisfying. I only do this over the phone. Though. Never over email. Learn that lesson. <laughs> Caught in the rain without an umbrella? Walk into any front desk. And say that you forgot one. When they ask when. Just say last time it rained. Where? Just say you don't remember. And if they ask what kind? Just say the normal ones. Black. Small one. I've gotten three umbrellas that way. Who buys an umbrella anyway? You can get them for free at the coffee shop in those metal cans. Those belong to people. Ducking like and subscribe.